Well, now to a story you will only see here on 13, a Houston place of worship vandalized. And the director says this is not the first time the place has been targeted. It happened at a mosque along Dixie Farm Road near the Gulf Freeway in southeast Houston. ABC 13's Karen Alvarez has more from the newsroom. That's right, Maida. The director says this is the third time their mosque has been targeted with estimated damages at, believed to be more than $30,000. Shattered doors, a damaged projector and busted TVs. Just some of the things that executive director of the Cuba Islamic uh, Institute, Assam Saheed, say were either place. destroyed or damaged. At this point, kind of we're numb to it because we're kind of used to the stuff that's been going on around here. Uh, especially with this place in particular, uh, having been a target of a hate crime in the past. He smashed this glass that was here, broke it open. According to Zahid, uh, it happened outside. Tuesday night sometime between 9.30 and 10.15 p.m. Right. Surveillance video managed to capture the exact moment the suspect makes their way inside one of the prayer halls, vandalizes it before making their way to the women's prayer hall to do the same. Broke one door went inside, turned on the lights, did whatever, some smashing and TVs and whatnot. Zahid says this is the third time something like this has happened, and police weren't able to tell us much other than it's an ongoing investigation, and it's still too early to determine if the incident was a hate crime. If the motive behind it is to get people to stop coming to worship, uh, I mean, uh, I, if, that's the, if that's what the motive is, I don't think it will... Uh, I don't think it will succeed. Right now, Saheed says they don't plan on closing their doors, but moving forward, the plan is to install a fence and more security cameras so that members feel safe to go there. Some people are also scared, uh, worried about you know what's happening, worried about their kids, obviously. But you know, obviously, we do everything that we can to take care of, of our, our children uh, and to make sure that they're in a safe environment. Reporting in Houston, Karen Alvarez, ABC 13 Eyewitness News.